What is professional? What makes hair, speech, dress, or even conduct professional? If you ask one of my colleagues, it's what white people of European descent say it is when they wanna exclude people of color, of different religions, or anyone else that they don't want to fit into their workplace. You know, it's that desire for homogeneity. I'm Nancy Schick of 30 Year Conflict Resolution, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure she's wrong. There is some historical context that suggests that's exactly where the term came from. And it had a disparate impact, which is why we look at it differently. I defended one of the first cases under the New York City uh, Crown Law, right, a few years back. So I've been very well versed in this, and it is something that I'm now mediating more disputes around these kinds of issues. I've also been called unprofessional as a woman in certain workplaces because I demanded, for example, that a client, now a former client, <laughs> pay me on time in full and stop holding on to my, my earnings a year after I, uh, I had actually done the work. So basically professional, left undefined, or used as kind of that catch-all phrase to justify bad behavior, it's canceled. If you've been watching this series, you know I'm going through several terms that are canceled in today's culture. So I want to make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Now, you probably also heard this and started wondering, is my dress code unfairly discriminating? So I, I prepared for that, and I'll put a link also down below in the notes to this video for a sample dress code that I did in the funeral industry that I think will give you some ideas on how to apply that for your particular workplace, because you need to start thinking about this. And if you need a consultation be beyond that, I'll put a link, of course, below for that as well. And in the meantime, keep listening with your third ear for those hurts you can heal.